Welcome back. In this sketch, we'll be chilling in the dining hall to cover isomers and configurations. Now grab some ice cream and I'll give you the inside scoop on isomers. Ah, the isorama, where many a well-balanced diet have died. Isomers are molecules that share the same molecular formula but differ in the way the atoms are arranged. Isomers can have different connectivities, rotations, or spatial arrangements. Sometimes they also have different chemical or physical properties. So let's take a deep dive into the types of isomers. First, there's the structural or constitutional isomers. They consist of the same atoms connected differently. So let's draw two cones of ice cream. Notice that both cones have these same three flavors, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. But the flavors are stacked differently, kind of like how the atoms of structural isomers differ in how they're connected. Here's an example of some hydrocarbon structural isomers that all have the same formula. Okay, so structural isomers can actually be further divided into positional and functional group isomers. Positional isomers have the same connectivity except the position of one functional group varies. Check out these two sundaes. See how one has a cherry on top while the other has a cherry on this side? The cherry represents a functional group and it's located at different positions on each sundae to remind you of positional isomers. There's also functional group isomers, another type of structural isomer. Functional group isomers have their atoms connected differently enough that they contain different functional groups. This usually leads them to have different chemical or physical properties. For example, ether and alcohol have the same molecular formulas, but ether has a much lower boiling point than alcohol. So to represent functional group isomers, we've got another set of sundaes, but this time they're topped with chocolate chips and hot fudge. Just like functional group isomers, they've got the same ingredients, but different physical properties. Namely, gooey versus crunchy. The next class of isomers are the stereoisomers, denoted here by these stereo speakers. Stereoisomers have the same connectivity but are oriented differently in three-dimensional space. The stereoisomers are broken down into two classes, configurational and conformational isomers. Let's start with configurational isomers. Configurational isomers are any molecules that have their atoms connected the same way, but differ in how their groups are arranged spatially, which usually means which side of the carbon backbone functional groups are on. Remember that you can't change a molecule into one of its configurational isomers without breaking bonds. Configurational isomers are further subdivided into enantiomers and diastereomers. So check out this kid with the Go Ants shirt. He's looking in the mirror to remind you that enantiomers are stereoisomers that are mirror images of one another. Enantiomers usually have the same physical properties. On the flip side, diastereomers, represented by this gal with two stereo boom boxes, are not mirror images of one another. Diastereomers can have different physical and chemical properties, so that's why these antennas that don't mirror each other also differ in size. Next, there's geometric isomers. These molecules have their functional groups oriented differently across a double bond. Two geometric isomers can be classified as E and Z, or cis and trans. For all intents and purposes, Z is the same as cis, and trans is the same as E. To determine if a geometric isomer is cis or trans, identify the highest priority group bonded to each carbon in the double bond. If the highest priority groups are on the same side of the double bond, the molecule is cis, symbolized here by this faux sizzle grill sign with light bulbs on the same side of the tube. If the highest priority functional groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, it's a trans isomer. And that can be remembered by this entrance sign with light bulbs on opposite sides. Okay, let's end with conformational isomers. These molecules have the same formula and connections, but they differ in how they rotate around a single bond. To show that, take a look at our favorite lunch lady, Dolores, who is sick and tired of waiting for you to confirm your order. 
one side of her fan is rotating around a single axle. When the red blade is up across from the green blade, that represents one isomer. When the red blade is down across from the other red blade, that represents a different conformational isomer. And voila, that's all our isomers for today. To recap, isomers have the same formula but differ in connectivities, rotations, or spatial arrangements. Structural isomers are divided into positional and functional group isomers, whereas stereoisomers are divided into configurational isomers and conformational isomers. Plus, within configurational isomers, there are enantiomers, diastereomers, and geometric isomers. Well, that's all for now. I'm getting out of here before Dolores scolds me again for having ice cream for breakfast. Again.